Welcome to part 6 of the top 10 illustrator tools a beginner should master. In our last tutorial, I showed you the line tool and its different functions. Now we're going to focus on the rectangle tool. Like the line tool, the rectangle tool is one of the easiest to grasp but is probably used the most next to the pen tool, especially if you're using Illustrator for designing web pages. Now there are a total of six options in the rectangle tool uh, palette. There's the uh, rectangle tool, the rounded rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, the polygon tool, the star tool, and the flare tool. And since I'm trying to get uh, you guys started in Illustrator a little faster and learning only the tools that are relevant, I'm only going to show you these first three because these just basically show you sh uh, make shapes that I hardly ever use. So uh, let's begin. As I was saying, the rectangle tool is the easiest, so there's not any great tricks you're going to learn here other than you uh, select the rectangle tool, you click, and drag. And it's as simple as that. It'll just make whatever shape of rectangle you want. Um, if you hold shift down, it's going to make a perfect square any size you want. And since we have our fill as black, it's going to make black rectangles. So let's go ahead and change some of these with our selection tool. Let's select this one. Let's uh, make it a red box. Uh, let's select this one. Let's make it a green box. And let's make this an outline of green. So we're going to click on the fill and we're going to take off the fill. We're going to click on the stroke and we're going to double click it. And we're going to make it green. So let's click on green and it'll make it a, a green outline. Um, and that's basically it for the rectangle tool. Now let's move on to the rounded rectangle tool. And this is actually one of the also the most important of the rectangle options. Um, and, it, and it says, um, it does what it says, it, it makes rounded rectangles. So uh, let's go ahead and take the stroke off and make it a black box again. Alright, now as you can see it makes rounded edges of your rectangle in any way, any shape that you want. And again if you hold shift down it'll make a square. Now um, let's say you don't want the uh, radius to be so big. And I usually just take my direct selection tool and I'll select just these two points here and then I'll move it over let's say three points so I'll press uh, to the left three times that's one two three I'll make sure I do it on the other side to the right one two three and then I'll select these two right here and go up one two three and then these bottom two and go down one two three and as you can see it makes your radius a, a little tighter and we can even do it one more Let's see, one, 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 and one. And you see it's a little a little smoother. I use the uh, rounded rectangle tool a lot in my web design, so this is definitely an important uh, tool to learn. And again, you can do just like, you can change its colors, just like the other, uh, like the rectangle tool. You can uh, change the stroke. And another thing you can do is you can you can have a fill and a stroke at the same time. But um, that's basically it for the rounded rectangle. And now we'll move to the ellipse tool. And again, it does what it says. It uh, make an ellipse. Pretty simple. Just click and drag. And it makes different shapes, uh, different sizes of uh, circles. Uh, and again, if you hold shift down, it'll make a perfect circle. And you can change the colors just like the rest of them and make this one blue and put a red outline on it or stroke and they're very simple and these are very easy to use uh, but you'll definitely find yourself using uh, the rectangle tool a lot like let's uh, let's put a black stroke on this and take off our fill and as you can see, it would come in handy for uh, making web designs and 
if you design on a grid, you'll find yourself using the rectangle tool a lot. And that pretty much sums it up for the rectangle tool. Our next tutorial will be on the gradient tool, another very important tool to master.